Chris. <laughs> A-Hole Productions. All right, Harlem. Back in Harlem. Coming in for that... Well, I don't know if it's final battle, but we definitely are going to take down Rhino, I think. Since Miles hit us up with all the deets. Did I just say beats out loud? Oh, I'm sure. Look at that. Oh! Pick on someone your own size, Rhino! <laughs> there is no one my size, Hulk. Hmm. Language. Or maybe we could just talk it out. Rhino, what's with the team up? I thought you were a loner. So that's his end game, huh? He wants out of the costume. Okay, Rhino. Let's wrap this up. Whoa! Ah, oh my goodness, acid. Oh dang. Oh Scorps, love you, but you do know it's rude to cut in, right? What were you gonna do if I didn't know him? Beg him to give up? Yeah, uh, yeah maybe. That is exactly what I would have done. Ah, like an old married couple you Ah, oh, dang it, I missed him. We got him this time. Yeah. Scorpion, stop hitting me while I'm That doesn't have a ring to it. Please tell me I took him down. Scorpion's down. Now's my chance. Try it, Red. Hell. Maybe I'll... Ooh. Nice. All right. Doing okay. <laughs> Ish. If he finds out you failed. I failed. Uh-oh. Yes, you freak show. Oh. Yep. Oh, ho, ho, ho. <laughs> nice. Nice work, Spidey. That's all right. That's kind of cool. Oh man. Wow, that was quick, but man, those guys. Those guys hurt bad. Something tells me they won't be as easy. 
They're only half our problem, though. Devil's Breath cases are getting worse, and Oscorp is being coy about an anti-serum. I'm worried they're seeing dollar signs in a seller's market. <laughs> you hear them? Nothing less from our they're so mad. Here. Leave Devil's Breath to me. One of my best people is on it. All right. Pete, hey, I've been through the city, state, and federal databases. If this Devil's Breath lab does exist, it's off the books. The only other place I can think to look is in Norman's personal files. I've already been through his office computer. Are you uh, thinking his penthouse? That building's full of Sable's men. If they spot me, other residents could get hurt in a firefight. Oh, dude, no, she's already there, isn't she? Oh, no. Dude. If anything goes wrong, I'll call Freaking you MJ is like... <laughs> okay. It's risky, but we need that location. Wait for me to get nearby, then make your move. I'll be ready. Let's find out. Okay, MJ. I'm a couple blocks away. Let me know if you get into trouble. Alright. Starting the mission, uh, starting this level off, or this episode off, with the MJ mission, I guess. You got me? Alright, welcome back, John. Hey, John, since you're back and all, you know. Thanks, Pete. What you drinking? Whatever. Okay. Norman's penthouse is on the top floor, but the elevator's on lockdown. Alright. to the security room to unlock it. All right. I'm sure we could just walk right in. Huh, echo. Oh, yikes. We're talking politics. There's the security room. But that guard will see me if I go in. Residents are pretty upset. Maybe hmm. I can rile them up to create a distraction. Oh, let's go talk crap. Why isn't Osborne down here? This sort of thing never happens to him. The mayor and his friends are exempt. Security let one of his biggest donors back upstairs right Ooh. away. I knew it. It's all one big boys club. Oh, Mary Jane. <laughs> oh, every second we stay down here, we risk catching that That's play. awesome. Definitely stay away from the receptionist. John Lee says, wow, hacks. She calls hacks. What? They have to let us back upstairs. Uh-oh. Sure. He's definitely lost my post. Whoa. Left my stupid inhaler upstairs. I heard they'll let you up if you claim special circumstances. A health emergency might do it. Dang. Really? Come on. Look at this. He's rallying people up. That should do it. Oh my goodness. Jerry, get out here. We got a situation. Oh man. I can't breathe. Let me back up. Security there. rooms open. Just need to get to the door without being seen. Everyone, please stay calm. Sable International has nearly finished their sweep. That's what you said an hour ago. I know this is frustrating, but no one's gonna turn me in. Sable is doing this. For That's time. nice of everybody. Nobody was like, hey, hey who's she? Where's she Sable going? Agents who would love to meet you. All right, we got a taser. What's that? Continuing sector sweep. Press. Behind an enemy for a stealth takedown. Oh! Multi million dollar building with network speeds from 1995. Dude! Mem MJ's straight up tasering like dudes! This oh, this is great. We got an MJ taser mission. Gotta turn him around. Watch your sixes, men. Oh, you know, just my little chirpy chirp machine. Say hello to my little shocking friend. I'm changing my name to Electra. <laughs> there actually is an Electra, I think. Ooh. Mary Jane Watson, super spy. Time to unlock that elevator. That's great. Uh oh. Is that Sable and Osborne? Right, she so she's like his right hand security. Moment's clearing out. Going full metal gear on these fools. I know, right? Time to head upstairs. Dang, starting a commotion. Start it up.
Can I, am I gonna slip out unnoticed? Where's the, oh yeah, security took off. All these people didn't run upstairs? This is it. Ooh. Right on cue. Wow, that was, wow. Stupid useless button. Uh oh. Ooh. Ooh. Hey, Deadeye, what's up? Hello, hello, dude. Taser time. Taser time. Everybody talk about taser time. It's my new song. You guys like it? I spent four days writing it. Norman's guards have all cleared out. Yeah, dude. He's hiding something up here. I'm gonna find it. We're gonna find it. Oh, what up? Oh, what up? What is this thing? What is that thing? Hmm. Schematics for a prototype combat mask. Looks like it can reveal structural weaknesses. Prototype peacekeeping helmet? All right. Whoa! Oh. This mask is incredible. Is it showing a door hidden in that wall? Wonder where it leads. What? Dude, that's some super spy cool stuff. Let's see what this is. Blueprint for the apartment. Tons of empty space right behind the wall with a family portrait. Who leaves space unused in a Manhattan apartment? Nobody. That's where MJ, we gotta go. Stable presence downstairs just ballooned. I think Norman's being moved. Worried they might spot me. I might have had something to do with that. Keep your distance. I should be okay for now. Norman bids his son farewell. Hmm. This huh. must be from when Harry left for Europe last year. Why was Norman so dramatic about a trip to Europe? You're no kidding. I'm worried about Harry too, to be honest with you. Secret keypad behind the family portrait. We gotta find the code. Spy movies. We need to find the code for that keypad. All right, we're going Resident Evil and Metal Gear Solid on this. Doors are locked till the system check finishes. Ah, there we go. That helmet's cool. You think that could be like a prototype Green, Green Goblin helmet? This Spider-Man problem. So weird there's a whole cottage industry focused on explaining Pete's powers. Weirder still that Norman is such an active part of it. True. Alright, nothing there. Oh wait, something over here. Work order for a keypad lock. Looks like he used Harry's last day as the code. That must be the day Harry left for Europe. Oh. Which is, I don't know. I couldn't read it. No oh crap! <sighs> Norma could be back any minute. Need to find that keypad code. Did I? Harry's last day. I know he left last summer, but was it July or August? So we got to look for Harry the coding. Journal. Maybe he recorded the date there. What up, plates? Forgot about this. The Osbournes have a coat of arms and a motto. Pax in Bello, peace in war. <sighs> Gotta remember that if I ever write a book about all of this. <laughs> all right. Norman locked up Harry's room, wants it untouched for when Harry returns from Europe. But where did he put the key? Looks like Norman locked up Harry's room. I wonder why. I don't know. Let's go find out. Hey, Dad. On my way to Dr. Michaels for one last shot before the, um, the big trip. He is sick. Um, hey, if 
you're gonna meet me there. Could you grab my journal from my room? I just wanted to record some thoughts on the big Bon Voyage day. <laughs> Dude, I'm getting worried about Harry now. Anyway. Dead Eye says, How is everyone? I'm good, man. How are you? John Lee's relaxing, she says. I see they spread no expense with the security measures. No, definitely not. Oscorp is top notch. I love you. Wow. I haven't heard Harry's voice in so long. He sounds so... I mean, that was a big red flag for me, the fact that he was leaving Something voicemails when everyone else talked to us in, you That's know, right real time. Um, so, uh, so I am curious. Wow, look at this place. Ugh, Norman would have a pool. New York is about subway rats and street pizza, not sunbathing and umbrella drinks. Umbrella? What? Umbrella Corporation confirmed. God. Spider-Man set in the Resident Evil universe. Knew it. To watch movies when we were kids. A different world from Queens. Funny how Harry always wanted the opposite. Nothing made him happier than watching cartoons on the little TV in May's kitchen. Harry's mom, Emily. We used to make fun of him for calling her the prettiest mom at Midtown, but he might have been Whoa. right. Score. Whoa, so sweet. That was lucky. <laughs> nice. I was like, hey, Norman's cool, a picture. Room is bigger than my entire apartment. Jeez, that's now true. I sad. Well, what's that? Norman and Otto. Wow. Wow, Never Otto with a beard. So close. Norman's smiling. Friendship like this. Hey, I'm kind of curious myself. Anything we can take from that? No. One eight seven. Or is 87, 1987, okay. All right, let's go, uh, let's go unlock, ooh, what's this? Real quick. I used to be so jealous of Harry's family. They were so happy, at least compared to me and my dad. But when Emily got sick, everything changed. Oh, does Harry have what his mom had? Oh, man. Because remember we heard him cough? I was like all concerned. I was like, uh, he was cough. What? This can't be for Harry, can it? Law books. Harry wants to be an environmental attorney. Like his mom. Whoa. Harry's journal. His last entry is marked July 18. 0718. That must be the code to that room. Leaving for Europe today. Ha. Huh. Not sure how that's going to go. Dad says there's no risk, but that's Dad. Dr. Michaels thinks it's more like 50-50. So, okay, I might not make it. If that happens, I bet you'll be reading this, Dad. Who am I kidding? You're probably reading it anyway. Norman always has to know. So if you are reading this, Dad, and if no risk at all turns out to be another Osborne campaign promise... And do me a favor, show this next part to Pete and MJ. Just them, please. Thanks, Dad, I love you. To Peter Parker and Mary Jane Watson. Guys, I'm sorry, really sorry. If you're reading this, man, this is tough. Even in an imagined hypothetical letter to you, it's hard to be honest. Here goes. I'm sick. Like, really sick. Doctors think it's the same thing my mom had. Neurodegeneration, rapid onset. I've known for a while, but I thought I could manage it. I didn't tell you because, well, because I didn't tell you. I was worried about how you'd react. And I couldn't stand to see you go through what I did with my mom. Watching her suffer, knowing I couldn't help, watching her die was worse than the dying. Things got really bad recently. All those times that I was wiped out from partying or just super busy. Not partying, not busy, sick. This Europe trip, well, it's a cover. I'm going in for treatment. Experimental, long term. Dad's been working on it forever, promises it'll work. He hates the nickname the techs have for it, Devil's Breath. Says it makes something good seem scary. But maybe Devil's Breath is what I need. A little bit of bad to do a lot of good. Okay, Dad's here. Time to go. I don't even have a moment to be a little sad about I that, huh? We should not rush off without a plan. We? You are staying here. The antiserum's ready. And I'm going to supervise production. You will be completely vulnerable without me. I seem to be completely vulnerable with you. I'm going alone. 
End of discussion. <laughs> Keep team two on standby. I'm getting some air. Yeah, that's pretty sad stuff, right? Um, Pete, Norman's cure is just ready. trying to work He's something out. Just now. take it step by step. Not without alerting him. Yeah, man. Good Some luck. Ted. I know. Today. Her men are set on double secret probation alert. I know. Okay, um, stay ready. You guys got a lot Almost going on. Location. Keep us posted, okay? I gotta get back out to that main hall, huh? Oh, you know, just a thing. Nobody. <laughs> Surprise, mother... <laughs> all right. We got them all down. Let's do this. 0718. Okay. July 18. Bingo. Did they not even notice the painting up? Super Whoa. creepy. Gotta find the location of the Devil's Breath Lab. Something in this room must be useful. Wow. Norman wins the fancy map contest. Looks like the Upper West Side. Hmm. So that's, uh, maybe that's where it is. What are these things? Prototype hand grenades? Pumpkin bombs! How far into the game are you, Seek? I think we're near the end, dude. So if, if you're trying to avoid spoilers, I would, I would say this is a fair time to announce a spoiler warning. Norman's got a real mad scientist thing going on. It really does. Norman Osborne, GR twenty seven. Harry and Emily's medical records. Oops. GR twenty seven was developed to treat them. Devil's breath is a failed cure for Norman's own family. Dang. Wasn't expecting that. Isn't a disease. It's an attempt at a cure. So is Norman a <sighs> decent dude it. in this universe? I mean, he's building. He's got a creepy lab. He's building pumpkin bombs. So I guess not. Looks but like a map of the Upper West Side. Or is he just like a really overprotective dad? <laughs> Looks like Norman's tracking Doctor Michael's movements. Creep fest. Huh. This shows all of Oscorp's properties. I had no idea they owned so much of New York. Disabled troop deployments. They're stationed all over the city. I bet I can find the Devil's Breath Lab with this. It must be an Oscorp property with a ton of Sable protection, frequented by Dr. Michaels. Um. Oscorp building, but no Michaels or Sable. I don't think I've chosen the right categories. Bravo, bravo, bravo. Dr. Strom. Isn't he a robotics expert? Whoa, cool little Easter egg. No movement from Dr. Van Adder. Must be out of the city. Dr. Michaels leads the Devil's Breath team. 
Wherever Devil's Breath Lab must have a big sable presence. GR27. There we go. That's the code name for Devil's Breath. This is it. Temple Cathedral. Isn't that... Where's... I knew it. Tenthen Cathedral, Oscorp's records department. <laughs> Perfect place to hide a secret biotech facility. No kidding. Martin Lee incident. Martin Lee incident. What? What is this? And we are rolling. I will be right next door. Just relax and let the medicine do its work. Martin oh, Lee's mother. Don't be scared, honey. He was a kid. his own parents. He was created by Osborne. What have you done? And Otto. Oh my God. Otto has been planning this for a while. Norman and Otto. They started all of this. They created Lee. No way. I, I, I thought it was going to be something where they created like Spider-Man or something. Wait. No. You got to be kidding Who's me. There? location and a lot more how far away are you two avenues over say the word and I'm there great keep the motor running five by five control area clear These guys are so dumb. Doing all right with MJ, man. I'm actually better as MJ than I am with any of the other characters, like Spider-Man or Miles. Just those two. up here
Got him. Nice. Need to clear that balcony. Oh. Sable's coming after managing. Hey, you ready? Wait, wait, hold on. It's too late. You're up. Oh my goodness. Talk about trust. Oh, whew. You are crazy. <laughs> that was awesome. That was awesome. All right, back to feast. Get the whole gang back together. Aunt May, Miles, MJ. It's all so much to take in. Harry's sick. Norman and Lee. And Dr. Octavius? I know. Jeez. Yeah, that is heavy. <laughs> That's a lot to learn at once. This is all my fault. No, not this long again. You are not alone anymore, Pete. Let Miles and me look after Feast. You... You find Norman. You find the cure. Thanks, partner. These kids are all right. Oh, man, she still has a spider on her? I hope that thing doesn't, well, I mean, guess if it bites her, she gets superpowers. If, I mean, I'm assuming it's a, a genetically altered spider. Why wouldn't it be? We're in the world of Spider-Man. So, of course, it's not a regular spider. This open window can lead somewhere or nowhere. It's up to you. What do you mean, who is this? It's Chris. Why won't you believe me?